As per pluralism, a number of groups and organizations like grassroots movements, civil society organizations, corporations, etc. play a very, very important role in influencing decision making by the government. However, hyper pluralism is a such condition that where many groups and factions become so strong that they do not give the government effectively. So it may be called as an exaggerated form of pluralism. On the positive side, because of hyper pluralism, civic activism can increase, public opinion can bolster, and public officials can become more accountable and responsible. But on the other hand, it might lead to legislative gridlock, with slower implementation of social and economic programs, and even uneven distribution distribution of social economic power amongst groups. Example ke taur pe, NRA ko jo support milta hai by big gun lobbies can be seen as an example of hyper pluralism in USA leading to stalling of gun laws. For more such important news, keep following Sleepy Classes and our Telegram channel.